If you're ever looking for a great and reliable rotary tool, we'll look no further because today we're testing cheap versus expensive rotary tools. First, we're testing how well they could hold up against our favorite superheroes. And for the first test, the cheap took the victory. Then we moved on to some wooden pencils. And again, the cheap took the edge. And cheap wins. Cheap versus expensive hand vacuums. We're testing how well each vacuum can suck up an assortment of junk, from dust to dirt to breadcrumbs. Both vacuums pretty much left the table spotless. So after the test, we were convinced there was a tie until we flipped the cheap vacuum upside down and, uh, yeah. But good thing we had the expensive vacuum to save the day. So overall, I think because the filter in the smaller vacuum is made for smaller grain items, which is why the breadcrumbs flew right out when you flipped it upside down. So expensive wins. Have you ever walked into a bathroom and been forced to use thin and rough toilet paper? Well, it's time to change that. Because today, we're testing cheap versus expensive toilet paper. For our cheap option, we have the Amazon Basic Toilet Paper. And for our expensive option, we have the Charmin Ultra Soft. You can tell right off the bat, the expensive option has a much thicker roll. After feeling both, it's very clear that the expensive option is a lot softer. Now we're moving on to the absorption test. You can see the expensive definitely absorbs the liquid a lot better. Then we place the weight on each one to see which fibers were stronger. And the expensive clearly took this win. Now for a wiping test. They both perform pretty equally for this test, but the expensive is just a lot thicker. And expensive wins! Do you want to be prepared for the winter season around the corner? Then this video is for you, because today we're testing cheap versus expensive winter gloves. So to test how the gloves react in that cold snowy weather, we used some instant freeze. This will help us simulate that cold weather and also add some frost on the gloves to see how well the fabrics react. The expensive on the left has a slightly better time getting rid of the frost. Now for a spray that covers more of the surface area. After this test, he was able to feel the cold temperatures through the glove a lot more. The fingertips were able to hold up just fine. Now for the expensive option. He said he couldn't feel any cold temperatures coming through the glove at all. An expensive wins! Are you looking for some of the best kitchen appliances? Well this video is for you, because today we're testing cheap versus expensive toasters. So we set both toasters to their medium settings and after a couple minutes we wanted to see which would be toasted more evenly. So although the cheap toaster did put up a good fight, it did seem like it was a little inconsistent with how much heat was being distributed to each side. So I would say if you want a more reliable piece of toast every time, go with the expensive. And expensive wins. Cheap versus expensive electric clippers. We're starting out seeing if the electric clippers can get through this tough fur. We used the same size guard for both clippers, but the expensive clippers seem to just have a much easier time going through the fur. Now to test how they do on real hair with the zero guard. We have the expensive clippers on the bottom and the cheap clippers on top. The expensive clippers were able to trim a slightly larger surface area and also get a trim closer to my skin. And expensive wins! Do you ever catch yourself in need of a pen but can never seem to find one? Well let me help you make sure you always have the best one. Because today, we're testing cheap versus expensive pens. We're going to be testing out their writing capabilities on different materials. Starting with plain white paper. We wrote down the same words with both pens to test out which pen had a smoother write and which pen had a more even distribution of ink. You can see the expensive had a slightly darker color. Now we're going to test how well the pens can write on cardboard. And again the results felt the same. The expensive pens seemed to just have a slightly smoother write and also the ink felt a little more evenly distributed. And finally we used the microscope to really closely examine both ballpoints. Both ballpoints look perfect, except for the expensive having slightly more ink. Inexpensive wins! 